Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's devotion for May 31st. Today's devotion is titled, Easy Does It, and the Bible reading is from Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 to 18. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. Do everything without grumbling or arguing, so that you may become blameless and pure children of God, without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like stars in the sky as you hold firmly to the word of life. And then I will be able to boast on the day of Christ that I did not run or labor in vain. But even if I am being poured out like a drink offering on the sacrifice and service coming from your faith, I am glad and rejoice with all of you. So you too should be glad and rejoice with me. My father and I used to fell trees and cut them to size with a two-man cross-cut saw. Being young and energetic, I tried to force the saw into the cut. Easy does it, my father would say. Let the saw do the work. I think of Paul's words in Philippians. It is God who works in you. Easy does it. Let him do the work of changing us. C.S. Lewis said that growth is much more than reading what Christ said and carrying it out. He explained, a real person, Christ, is doing things to you, gradually turning you permanently into a new little Christ, a being which shares in his power, joy, knowledge, and eternity. God is at that process today. Sit at the feet of Jesus and take in what he has to say. Pray. Keep yourselves in God's love. Jude, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, Keep yourselves in God's love is from Jude chapter 1 verse 21. Reminding yourself all day long that you are his. Rest in the assurance that he's gradually changing you. But shouldn't we hunger and thirst for righteousness, you ask? Picture a small child trying to get a gift high on a shelf, his eyes glittering with desire. His father, sensing that desire, brings the gift down to him. The work is God's. The joy is ours. Easy does it. We shall get there someday. What does it mean to you that it is God who works in you? What do you want him to do in you? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.